In the south of Volgograd, next to the main entrances of the now former shipyard plant, there is a T-34 tank on a pedestal. Few people know that he is a real participant in the hostilities during the Great Patriotic War. In 1944, the tank was installed on the square in front of the Volgograd shipyard. After 20 years, it was erected on a concrete pedestal. The plaque on the monument reads, The T-34 tank was installed in memory of the heroic labor feat of the workers of the Stalingrad shipyard during the Great Patriotic War of 1941-1945. The architect of the monument is Fyodor Lysev, to mobilize after the Great Patriotic War to Stalingrad. It was here that the T-34 did not appear by chance. The Krasnoyarmiski shipbuilding plant worked throughout the Great Patriotic War. Literally a few days after the start of the war, the production of armored hulls for the T-34 and 100 tanks, armored splits for the L-2 aircraft, armored hulls for the T-60 and T-70 tanks, armored hulls for L-2 aircraft mines with armored caps, the plant produced eight trench furnaces, anti-tank mines, cavalry saddles, plating of locomotives with armor, repairs of tanks, warships and armored boats were organized, and two armored trains were manufactured. When the front approached Stalingrad, 140 people remained at the plant to repair tanks and blow up the plant in case it was captured by the Germans. Workers and engineers lived in the workshops of the plant. On September 12 at 11 a.m., the Nazis bombed the factory and threw 32 bombs, residential buildings, a fire station, a factory management, a canteen, a road, access roads were destroyed, there were victims. And the plant continued to work. In total, 1280 of ours and 300 captured tanks were repaired during the war years. And the very last T-34, taken out from the battlefield, was decided to be repaired and installed at the entrance of the plant. This, in fact, is our hero.